And now Lane Kiffin, as he gets ready for Ole Miss to take on Auburn today, joins us from Bob Hemingway. Still showing the good hands there, Lane. It around. Throwing, <laughs> throwing it around. Lane, I noticed that your dog, Juice, ate your breakdown book. Has that impacted the preparations for Auburn at all this week? Yeah, it did. We had to restart and come with some new plays. So, you know, it's just part of raising a dog, you know. <laughs> What is it that you've learned about your team up to this point in the season? Uh, I think that we have a chance to be really good because we play really well at times. We have a lot of talent, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're a really good team. So we need to put that together today. There's a lot of challenges with a very talented Auburn team. And so let's see if we can put together all phases, phases of our game for four quarters. Hey, Lane, it's Kirk. With, with Jeff Levy moving on to Norman, how, how is the offense on game day? Is it exactly the way it's been? Just talk a little bit about uh, Coach Weiss and what you guys are doing and, and the execution, because obviously it's, it's working out phenomenally well. Just curious how similar it is, the execution of it, to last year. Well, Charlie does a really good job, and it wasn't all new because we had had Charlie uh, with us at FAU uh, before as a coordinator after Kendall Bryles. So we've been through this before, and uh, it's a transition. Levy did a great job, and, you know, he's off to doing great things here lately at Oklahoma. So, um, you know, we just got to keep on working. Coach, this is Desmond Howard. Um, Auburn struggled this season so far. You know, the issues with Brian Harson and his coaching staff. Every week people are talking about they may get fired. And you watch them on film. Is there anything that you see, especially defensively, that you think could give your offense some problems today? Yeah, I think they have really good players and they have a really good front, uh, you know, that has given people problems. And, and they've given us problems over the two years we've played them. Uh, you know, we haven't. We haven't beat them uh, in six years of program. So, you know, we've got a big challenge in front of us today and a lot of things to improve. And, you know, a team that's against their back always, you know, most of the time comes out fighting. So I'm sure we'll see that today. Lane, I know it's tunnel vision when you're a coach. You're getting ready for your opponent. You probably don't even know that Tennessee's playing Alabama. But just a heads up, your former coach, Nick Saban, here at Rocky Top, the natives here are restless. They're excited. Anything you want to say to the uh, the Tennessee fans here to get them ready for the game? I mean, if you think I don't know Tennessee's playing Alabama, uh, I mean, who doesn't know that? So, <laughs> um, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say except for, hey, let's both beat the state of Alabama today. Go balls. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.